Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James and this is Astro Motivation where I awaken the astrologer within you and aim to give you a little inspiration and motivation per your unique placement within your birth chart. You know, I really do feel that before a time of iPhones and iPads and I this and I that, we were a culture and a society that were better able to look up at the stars and understand exactly where our dreams were and how to get them. And so if that sounds good to you, let's go ahead and get into it. Today we are going to get into the promised video of the part two to my Vertex series, okay? And this video is going to be more so of what happens when different planets transit over your vertex okay so first what I would suggest if you are just arriving at this video is to watch part one which is what the vertex is and what the meanings of each vertex is for you and whatever house your vertex lies within and then come back to this video to see what actually occurs for you once a certain transit or a certain planet hits over your vertex okay so go ahead pull up your vert pull up your vertex pull up your chart and go ahead and see what come upcoming planet will hit your vertex very soon or upcoming and I will let you know from there what will occur all right so let's go ahead and get started let's say you have the planet Mars transiting over your vertex now depending on what house your vertex is in will definitely dictate what different themes you will be you know coming against or what you will be experiencing which is why I would suggest you going ahead and watching that vertex part one video but when you do have Mars transiting over your vertex, this is going to be a time of ignition, okay, of action, of initiation, of you doing something that maybe you didn't have the courage or the wherewithal to do. This could also indicate some sudden occurrence, you know, some type of battle or fight or competition or something of that nature that is happening or occurring um, within the theme that your vertex is in okay so this is what usually happens when I see Mars hovering over the vertex that there is usually some type of conflict that may arise there is some type of action that needs to be taken some new action you know some new energy is being given to this area of life and you may find that within the area that your vertex is in there will be action being put out or dished in within that area of life, okay? So that is what happens when you have Mars transiting over your vertex, all right? Let me know if that resonates with you or if you've ever had your Mars transit over your vertex. Was that especially a very active time for you in that area of life for you, wherever your vertex is sitting in within your chart? Um, also, let me know if there were any battles, any fights, any conflicts, any disputes that may have come about when that vertex, you know, hit your... When, when the Mars hit your vertex, okay? Uh, let me know in the comments below and let me also know where what sign your vertex is in, what house your vertex is in with that Mars transit. And I will let you know what you could have experienced or what you will experience if that is an upcoming transit that you will be experiencing very soon, okay? So without further ado, I will see you on the next video, okay? Let's say you have Venus transiting over your vertex. This is going to offer that area that your vertex is sitting in a moment of grace, of harmony, even a little bit of social interaction in this area you know this is the time to bond to strike deals to uh, be a little you might find a little bit more ease and grace within this area or if this area that your vertex is in is a very prevalent area of your chart right a very omnipresent area of your chart you may find that generally you just feel a little bit more graceful or harmonious or beautiful you know this is the time to smooth things over or to find that things are just at ease things are really nice in this moment of time that Venus is transiting over your vertex within that area of life that the vertex is sitting in okay so this is gonna vary and change for different people because everyone's vertex is in a different area of life right so Whatever area of life your vertex is in, know that when Venus hits it, it's going to offer it grace, ease, a tad bit of abundance, you know, some luxury, some uh, times of social togetherness or bonding time or even a, a little bit of a romantic time as well for you, you know, because Venus does carry a bit of a love signature. So that is what will happen when Venus transits over your vertex. Let me know if this resonates with you. Let me know if this is an upcoming transit for you. And while you're at it, go ahead and definitely let me know what sign and what house your vertex is in. That way I can let you know exactly what will occur for you when this Venus transit hits 
your vertex okay so in the time that your venus is transiting over your vertex definitely enjoy it reap the good benefits of it um you know relax maybe socialize but there is definitely a bit of abundance that is coming to you through that venus when it hits your vertex okay so without further ado i will see you on the next video right many blessings let's say you have the moon about to transit over your vertex. Now, depending on where your vertex is sitting, this is gonna offer whatever area your vertex is sitting within a moment of reflection. It's gonna definitely be somewhat of an emotional time for you. It could also be a time of new chapters unfolding, new beginnings, new starts, right? Because the moon indicates new charts, depending on if it's a new moon, you know, if it's a waxing moon, a crescent moon, that would also be something that you would need to take into account is what type of moon is transiting over your vertex but just know generally that this would be a very good time to it's going to be somewhat of an emotional transit you know it's going to be a time of reflection it's going to be a time of new starts depending on the type of moon that is hovering over your vertex okay um what else this is also depending on certain houses you know like say if you have vertex in the fifth house and you have a moon transit upcoming on that vertex this would definitely indicate potential you know you either dealing with children or you becoming pregnant or conceiving right this is what would be shown here when you have the moon transit hovering over your vertex okay so a lot of the things come up around emotions new starts new chapters motherhood um and reflection okay it's going to be somewhat of an emotional time so let me know if you have this upcoming transit you know it doesn't have to be in the fifth house that was just an example but let me know where your vertex is what house your vertex is sitting in and what sign is in and let me know that if you are having an upcoming moon transit over your vertex within that specific situation that is your placement and i will let you know exactly what you may experience during this you know faded and miraculous event that is your vertex you know because as we know the vertex is only triggered by certain transits right and so this could be a very big new chapter for you a new start for you in a certain area of your life wherever your vertex is sitting within your birth chart okay so let me know that information i am wishing you much reflection much emotional introspection pop potential motherhood right new starts and without further ado, I will see you on the next video, right? Many blessings. Bye. Let's say you have Jupiter in an oncoming transit or just in general, you are curious about what happens when Jupiter transits over the vertex. This is going to be a moment of abundance and expansion. Whatever house and whatever area of life your vertex is sitting in within your birth chart is going to offer that area of life abundance and growth and prosperity okay this is what is going to be like somewhat of a big blessing this could be a very faded and miraculous event for you in that area of life that your vertex is sitting within okay so this is definitely going to be a time of expansion for you within that area of life let me know if you are having an upcoming Jupiter transit that is about to hit your vertex okay and also what would help me is if you were to let me know exactly what the house your vertex is in the sign your vertex is in and that way i'll be able to let you know what would occur during this jupiter transit over your vertex okay because this is a very big time for expansion in that area you know some some blowing up is going to happen and i mean that in the good way not the bad way blowing up as far as like expansion and things getting bigger and better okay because it is quite a benefic planet jupiter all right so let me know that information in the comments below and i will see you on the next video all right bye let's say you have saturn about to transit over your vertex within the birth chart okay this is going to be somewhat of a uh restrictive time for you when it comes to that area that your vertex is sitting in you know this may also be a time where work and refinement is needed where you are going to need to put in the work necessary you know um Saturn in the birth chart doesn't just restrict to restrict. It's actually a moment of time where you are needing to rectify, where you are needing to work towards uh, what needs to be worked towards and what will show you what you will need to be worked towards is the sign, the house that your vertex is in, right? It'll show you what you need to be working on, what you need to be focused on, what you need to be working to fix, right? This is what happens when Saturn transits over the vertex 
in the birth chart, okay? It's not just a moment where things will be tough or things will be restricted, but it is a moment where you will need to work through these things. You will need to work through these challenges. You will need to work through these blockages in order to find success in this area of your life, okay? Um, so let me know if you are having an upcoming Saturn transit over your vertex, okay? Because in some positions, this could be a good thing, right? Depending on what house or sign your vertex is in, this could be a very good thing, right? Um, but this could also be somewhat of an, a time of working towards better moments or working towards a better situation within that area of life. So let me know what sign your vertex is in. Let me know the house your vertex is in. And from there, I'll be able to write back to you and let you know exactly what is going on or what will occur during this faded and miraculous event that Saturn transits over your vertex, okay? Because this is going to be somewhat of a time for you to step up to the plate and do what needs to be done in order to get the good results out of that area of life that your vertex is sitting within okay so without further ado i will see you on the next video and many blessings to you bye let's say you have a mercury transit happening over your vertex okay now depending on whatever house this vertex transit is happening within in your chart know that it will only dictate that area of life okay it will only really affect that area of life okay unless you have aspects going into a different part of your chart but do know that generally when mercury transits over the vertex this is going to be a very cerebral time for you within that area there's going to be a lot of focus and mental focus that is going to need to be asked of you within that area of life that your vertex is sitting within okay um, this will also be somewhat of a busy time all right because a lot of people don't realize that Mercury also comes with its fair share of activity, right? There's a lot going on, a lot of multitasking, a lot of this, a lot of that. So that is what you may find is occurring or will occur when you have a Mercury transit over your vertex in the area that it is sitting in your chart, all right? So let me know if you are having an upcoming mercurial transit that will hit your vertex very soon okay and let me also know what sign what house your vertex is sitting in and that will be better able to help me let you know what exactly is going on during that transit for you okay because this will definitely still be a very faded and miraculous event that will require you to use your mind to use your intelligence to use your communication right this could be a time for you to speak up to to write that message to say what needs to be said to someone to send that letter to send out that ad to send out that you know connecting type of force from your voice from your communication all right this could be that type of energy as well all right but i won't personally know what that is until you let me know your particular situation but do know for those generally who are just here to learn this is going to be the time to really use your voice in that area of life that your vertex is sitting in a time to reach out to people a time to network a time to use your messaging your words you know uh, your mind will be quite focused on that area of life that your vertex is sitting in and this should be definitely a very cerebral or busy time all right you may be dealing with all those things in that area of life when mercury hits the vertex in your birth chart okay so i'm looking forward to your information also Go ahead and let me know the house, the sign, and if you are about to have a mercurial transit over your vertex. Also, let me know if you've ever had a mercury transit over your vertex and if that was the theme. Was there a lot of energy around that area of life that your vertex is sitting in, right? Was there a lot of mental activity, a lot of physical activity, right? A lot of communication, a lot of speaking, a lot of relaying messages back and forth through word of mouth or through the phone or through the internet what have you let me know what occurred when you had mercury transiting over your vertex in the birth chart because like i said this is going to be a time of communication of speaking up of using your words right um and your mind in that area of life okay so without further ado you have a blessed day and i will see you on the next video bye let's say you have neptune transiting over your vertex within your birth chart okay this could be somewhat of a very nebulous time for you within that area of your life okay sometimes this may offer you a bit of some spiritual benefits or some spiritual introspection within that area of your life okay wherever your vertex is sitting in know that the vertex and the transit will only affect that area of your life. So it's very, very important to know what your vertex is doing in that area of your life. Okay, so it would also offer you a time of like healing, a little spiritual introspection. You could also be a little confused in this area at times as well, depending on the certain transit and the positions and what house and what sign it is in. Sometimes there could be 
a little bit too nebulous, right? Things could be a little bit too out of touch or you could be a little bit too confused um, or not grounded in that area of life when the Neptune transit hovers over your vertex, okay? Um, so let me know if you are having an upcoming Neptune transit over your vertex and I will let you know if you know, what will happen or what will be occurring. But this could also offer you, you know, some definite spiritual benefits, some definite like miraculous benefits because Neptune is our great, you know, spiritual planet. It is It is the fantasy planet, the creative planet, the healing planet. So you could be getting waves of that happening in that area of life, okay? It could be def a definite fated and miraculous event that could happen while Mercury, sorry, while while Neptune is transiting over to Vertex. I say Mercury because Neptune is a higher octave of Mercury. A lot of people don't know that, but that is why I had that little Freudian slip there, okay? But do know, like I said, Neptune transiting over the Vertex can be a very spiritual time. It could be also a fated miraculous event that can happen in that area of life for you. This could also be a time of very healing, creative, or introspective times. And try your best not to get too confused or too nebulous with this energy because it can get a little carried away to where whatever is going on in that area of life it could it could kind of go over your head it could just be a little bit missed on you all right so let me know your particular vertex placement let me know the sign the house um let me know if you are about to have that transit of neptune hit that vertex or if you have had that transit already and if you resonate with that was that definitely a, a spiritual time for you in that area of life that your vertex was sitting in okay um so without further ado i am wishing you many blessings and i will see you on the next video bye let's say you have an upcoming uranus transit about to hit your vertex okay this is going to trigger a very unexpected moment in that area of life okay this could be an unexpected opportunity and an unexpected chaotic event an unexpected occurrence right an unexpected download of information in that area of life just know that something very unexpected will happen or will occur in this area of life this could also be a time to change something in that area right to deviate and go in a different direction that is also what uranus will offer the energy or the opportunity to do when vertex hit hits your when uranus hits the vertex in your birth chart right now this will vary and change depending on what sign what house your vertex is in so definitely let me know that information in the comments below and i will let you know what could definitely be happening for you with this very you know wild card that is uranus because that is kind of what it will be with uranus it's definitely a wild card but i do know that unexpected changes will occur while it is happening in this house or during this transit okay so that is what will occur when you have a uranus transit happening over your vertex okay so without further ado, I am going to leave you with that. That was my series of, you know, going through the planets of the transits that will happen over your vertex. I am wishing you all the best and much abundance, and I will see you on the next video, all right? Bye. If you have Pluto as one of the transiting planets over your vertex, this is going to be a very, very, number one, very rare type of transit because as we know, Pluto is one of the slowest moving planets in our solar system. It is a generational planet because it only affects generations at a time. That is how slow Pluto moves. So if you have a um, Pluto transit over your vertex, boy oh boy is this quite a powerful and transformative time within whatever area your vertex is in. Whatever area of the chart your vertex is in, you are going to experience a monumentous and faded huge transformation in this area of life, a regeneration of this area, a new approach to this area, a breaking down and a total building up of this area of your life, okay? So I would be very curious to know who has a Pluto transit over their vertex. Definitely write that down in the comments and let me know what house and what sign your Pluto transit is in or going into because it's going to be there for the next, you know, 20 plus years depending on the sign that it is in. All right. And so I would really love to know that very rare transit, but do know that this is going to be the time where life as you knew it in that area of life where your vertex sits is now over and a new area of your life will be beginning. Now, let's say you have Pluto presently in the house that your vertex is in and you have come across this video and you go, wow, okay, well, Pluto has been in my house or in 
the house that uh, you know my vertex is in, this is going to show that you may have experienced while this transit was here, some very, very uh, turbulent energy here, some very uh, traumatic energy here. You may have felt some very uh, karmic energy here. You have probably gone through the ringer in this area as far as wherever your vertex is in. But do know that all of these seemingly trialed and tribulated times that Pluto is offering you or that you are getting a sense of in this area, it is all to regenerate, to transform. And so that when Pluto does leave this house, you find that this area is completely different and you walk out of this transit a little bit more powerful with a little bit more knowing, a little bit more control of the area that Pluto was once in. So like I said, I would only know based on the sign, the house that your vertex is in to begin with. So let me know in the comments below what exactly is going on where your vertex is what the sign is and where your pluto transit is going and in the comments i will let you know exactly what this very very faded karmic and transformative planet of pluto will be doing in that house that it is going over your vertex in okay so without further ado i really do hope that this gave you some information um and i will be seeing you on the next video bye Let's say you have Sun as one of the transiting planets that are hovering or about to hover over your vertex. Now, this is going to show that this is going to be one of the most natural or miraculous events in your life because, as we know, the Sun is you, correct? And the vertex is a faded, transformative miraculous event that takes place. So you may find that when the sun transits over your vertex that there will be some change or you will be confronted with the themes that are in the house that your vertex sits within, okay? And so I would be very curious to know where or what your vertex is in, you know, we're dealing with, you know, what sign, what house your vertex is in, because when that sun transits for the 30 days that it will be there, because the, it, and you will only be confronted with this, you know, whether it be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, uh, you will just be confronted with those themes, you know, perhaps maybe just within the 30 days that the, the sun is transiting over your vertex, you'll just be thinking about those things, you know, you'll just be, you know, or you'll be preparing for those things that are in the vertex, you know, whatever theme of life your vertex sits in. So it really all depends on, you know, what the situation of your vertex is in. But when sun is there, it definitely shows that there you will be confronted with those themes. You will be thinking about those things. You will be dealing with those themes, you know, um, and yeah. So let me know your situation within your birth chart as far as your vertex goes. And within the comments, I will write back to you what is happening. All right, you have a beautiful blessed day. Bye.